I hate having this anxiety. I just wish I wasn't depressed anymore. Do either of these sound familiar? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about this subject of not accepting your mental illness and what you can do to overcome it. So make sure that you stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And I really wanted to make this quick video because I was actually reading the comments on the videos the other day, and I, I saw somebody saying this. They were talking about how like, they just wish they didn't have this anxiety, this depression and stuff like that. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, man, like I can relate. I can relate if you're watching this video, you could probably relate too. And like, I, I just needed to talk about it because like there's something that really helped me and it was acceptance. So like, do me a favor, like please share this video. Like this is, every once in a while I make it a, a video that I feel is like really important and more people need to hear it. But I got you guys and you guys are my rewired soldiers and I, I really rely on you guys to spread this message of hope that you can improve your mental health and things do get better. So please, please, please share this video, okay? So so yeah, we're talking about acceptance. Like one, one thing that, that was really holding me back most of my life was just this lack of acceptance. Not accepting these things that are facts, that are facts, right? So for, for drug addicts and alcoholics, you know, that's one of their biggest issues is accepting that they can no longer drink, no longer do drugs, right? But something that I grappled with even more was just not accepting the way my brain works, like depression, anxiety, all these things. And what happens when we get into that mindset we are fighting against the current of life and we are exhausting so, so much energy. Just like, I don't wanna feel this way. I don't wanna be this way anymore. I just don't, I don't like it. I don't like how it feels. I don't like what it's doing to my life. All these things and we're just fighting against the, the current and so much of our energy is being used that we're staying away from the solution because the more we focus on what is not going to be able to be changed, especially immediately, the less we're looking for the solutions. That is why I say this at the beginning of every video. We talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. So my life, my entire life took a complete turn once I accepted things. Because once you accept things for facts, you can start to persevere. You can start to achieve and overcome. So imagine fighting against this current and acceptance is turning around, going the other way and going with the flow. That's what it is. As soon as I was able to accept the fact that yes, I do have anxiety. Yes, I do have a generalized anxiety disorder. I have a brain that randomly gets anxious for no reason at all, right? I have a brain that will sometimes just completely change its tune and go from a bad day to a terrible day without even flinching, without even me knowing why it happened, I can get extremely depressed. As soon as I accepted that I have a brain that is going to do that, boom, life got better. Life got easier because I wasn't fighting it anymore. I'm like, okay, this, this is part of my life. Now, once you accept it, woo, you got so much space. You have so much space because now you're looking towards the solution. You are hyper-focused on the solution. That's what I do. Like, I love reading books. That's what I do. And again, I will put my reading list down below. I suggest you do it too. I realize that, that learning about the brain, understanding, understanding the enemy, that is what's gonna help me out. And man, I don't tell you guys enough, but like, please check the info card in this video. Like, after you're done with this video, please check the info card because there are gonna be two very important uh, videos in there that you might have missed. I know I got a lot of new subscribers. One of them is called Freedom from Emotional Bondage, okay? And the other one is called The Brain Mechanic, all right? These are two videos that did not get that much views, but 
I really think that they can help you out, especially when we're talking about acceptance. Like, the more you can accept your mental illness, the better you will become. Like, some of the, the greatest people on this planet have persevered through terrible situations, right? Childhood trauma, death in the family, you know, bad upbringing, being poor, all these things. But it wasn't until these people accepted their circumstances that they were able to start climbing in that upward direction, okay? And like, I'll leave you with this. I'll leave you with this. Like, what's the alternative? What is the alternative? Like, look at it. If you're not accepting your mental illness for what it is, what else is there to do? You either accept it and move forward and work towards a solution, or you roll over and let this control your entire life, right? Like, always know that there are two options to this thing. There are two options, and I get it. I get it's hard. I get that it's hard to get motivated. I know that it's hard to get out of bed sometimes. Maybe it's hard to even go out in public because of your anxiety. I get it. But once you start understanding this thing, Woo, things start getting a whole lot easier, okay? And I'm so grateful for all of you who are subscribed to my channel because you've already made a huge first step. You have made a huge first step. When I started this channel, I thought I was gonna have no subscribers, no views, nothing. I was like, people don't care about their mental health. People just like living in the problem, no solutions. But the fact that you've subscribed to my channel, it means that you, you are a part of a very, very small group of people who have acknowledged that there is a problem, but my goal here is to sh help show you that there is a solution too, okay? So keep that in mind, there is a solution. And like I said at the beginning of this video, please share this, please get the word out there that there is a way to overcome the battles that we fight in here on a day-to-day -day basis, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, if you just stumbled across this video, make sure you click that subscribe button because I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. If you got a chance, click or tap on one of those thumbnails. But like I said, don't forget to check that info card too. Two really good videos in there, all right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.